When it comes to street racing, not everything is just black and white. You can win a race and still be a loser. All too often in today's society, things like honor and dignity and bravery are mocked and made fun of. But those of us who still live by the code of the old school way of doing things still know how to win and how to lose with honor. Last week, Billy and I were tagged in a Facebook post by a man named Cody Myers out of Dayton, Ohio. Cody Street races an old Ford Fairlane with a small block Chevy for power and a little bit of nitrous. And everybody in the Dayton area knows him and looks up to him. I ain't scared to drive, man, if there's racing to get into, you know what I mean? I'm kind of, yeah. So, here we go. You must be the man down there. Everybody's scared of you. Oh, I ain't doing bad. I mean, it's <laughs> one a few of them lately. Yeah, we've been doing all right, man, really. The car's coming around, and we learn more every time we go out. It gets faster and faster, so. You got to race to to get better. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do something every weekend, whether it's street or <coughs> We're going to get into something for sure. They named Cody's old fair lane Old School, and for good reason. Cody is an old school street racer and he means what he says and says what he means. They came all the way up here from Dayton, a two hour ride one way, him and everybody from the Dayton area that support this guy to see him square off against the old Falcon. To split what, sucks, what sucks is Dayton and Middletown used to be the place in Ohio to race. Like that was street racing central in Ohio. We're trying like hell to bring it back, man. It's gonna be good again. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody yeah, got any work to come down, down next. So uh, you're seeing it. It's here. <laughs> it's here. Isn't it? It's here. Once all the details and stipulations were locked, the bets were locked. Tommy got the Falcon ready, and Cody went out and put a warm bottle in the old Fairlane to get it ready. So when he pulled it out of the trailer we'd be ready to square up. Since the race spot was only about 15 minutes away from our shop, Tommy decided to just drive the Falcon up there rather than trailering it. But when we got to the spot, there was an unwelcome spectator already there. there was a sheriff's deputy parked right at the meat spot back in the trees with the lights off and we had no idea he was even there. Where did he even come from? Came from like right back there. <laughs> Where? There's a road right, or some little dirt no. path right here. No way. He knows what's going on, he just don't give a fuck probably. What do you say? I don't know if you could Is hear everything all right? I said, yeah, our buddy stopped. He had a trailer tire he had to replace real quick. Real quick. <laughs> quick thinking. I gotta give you credit there. I wouldn't buy that shit though. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> He's probably, probably Somebody's care. tired. He's got somewhere yeah. to go. We better knock it off though for Set back up. Figure since they drove all the way up here, give them lane choice. I mean, they've never even been here. Right. And they drove all the way up here. Want to make sure they get to go look at the road and they pick their lane, whatever lane they want. Just yeah, let I, them think have so. it. I think I think so too. I mean, I think that's. I mean, that's really cool. Them drive clear up here like They're this. They're super nice. Oh yeah. Nothing but respect for them guys. For sure. We wanted to make sure that Cody and his team had every opportunity to do well. The flagger was from their hometown. We made sure they had an opportunity to look at the road, pick the lane they wanted, before we ever set foot on the starting line. 
Cody warmed up the fair lane and it was time to get down. I am uh, Cody Myers. My crew is the Dayton Small Tire Mafia um, and we street race represent Dayton. I have the best supporting cast in racing. Uh, my wife is 110% supportive. She's always been supportive. She has always had my back, um, always roots for me. Man, I mean, she gives me the ability to live this dream. I'm not gonna lie to you because I've heard it no way I do. You know what I mean? Uh, she takes care of the kids so I can spend all this time, you know, chasing this dream racing. Um, my kids are part of my crew, you know what I mean? My son, my youngest son, Jason, my oldest son, CJ, they're very, very huge parts of my crew, man. I couldn't even race without it. I was worried. I was worried for you guys right there. But that thing worked like a gangster. I swear it was hooking so good. It didn't even. You can't even tell where you went down. Oh my God. That thing works really good. Works really good. You guys got to work it. My God. Good job, man. Thanks for having us up again. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. No matter what happens from here on out, Cody's boys, his wife, his family, his friends, and everyone who came to support him will never forget the night Cody brought the old school fair lane up to race our Falcon. They will also never forget the hospitality shown to them by my family. Racing is not just about who gets to the finish line first. Right after we raced, Tommy drove the Falcon back to the starting line and the engine died. We thought it was out of fuel. Push it over here to the side. Yeah, just push it over here to the side. That way if the cop comes, we're stable broke down. Must have used quite a bit on the way here. <laughs> that's why I told the uh, That's good. Stop. In reality, the car wasn't out of fuel. It had a fuel filter that was starting to plug up, which would lead to a problem the next night when Tommy and Billy got paired again at Midnight Madness. Now, I don't want to give too much away, right? Because <laughs> that video hasn't been released yet. But let's just say that the Falcon had an issue creeping up on us that we didn't see coming. And it kind of bit us in the ass when we got to KD. But anyway, back to the video. When we got back to the house, we invited Cody and his family and all his friends to stop back and hang out at the shop for a little bit before they left to go home. I don't care what anybody says, your old man's a gangster. <laughs> yeah. That's some cool shit. Boy, that's some cool shit. That's more cool. I framed down and in the frame that the light comes on, 
his tire cracks. Like yeah. he guessed it so hard and it was beautiful. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There's no whoa. way. I brought professional, <laughs> credible motherfucking leave right there. You <laughs> 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 drilled that shit. Yeah. Dude, I feel it's late. Job, Thank you. I've been late every race and like since my, you know, You're since like being back in the thing. I mean, it's not not oh, yeah, his at all. Like, good. it's pretty. Yeah, good. I just, cool car I mean, you want to see it? Out from everything else. I saw it. I'm just, it was just a remake of the finals. I'd do sweet. something good there because the rest of it wasn't too good. You know what I mean? Might as well cut the light. <laughs> Better late than early. Yeah. That's a good race, man. I appreciate it. That was a good time. Good man. That's, that's awesome you guys all come up here together. Like I don't think that's it's nice to see you guys back out there in the street race. I really do. We you like to go to street racing. It's just it's hard around here. Around. Everybody wants to get in a shootout. Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah, really wants to grudge. Yeah. Grudges, you can knock them off. Just you know. I mean, hell, there was a sheriff there when we got there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard well, party. You get six or eight guys yeah. together, yeah. and then it automatically has to be cashed yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the streets you go. Hopefully this lights it up, man. I hope people start calling people yeah, out left dude. and right, man. Look, I feel like. Everybody's gotten so scared of being made fun of on the internet. You know what I mean? That's because people do pick so bad, though. They man. do pick. Like people. I promise you, dude. Tomorrow, wait, wait, just wait. You know they what I mean? From us, they will be on that. it, man. But that, I mean, you can't be scared of that stuff, dude. It's kind of part of it, man. You know what I mean? And, and you know, but people's you got say, their favorites hey, and stuff. And you go up there and fuck with that falcon. You go up there and fuck with that falcon. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean you go do it. I'm we down, man. It. I want to know where I stand. You know what I mean? I want to be one of the greats. The only way you're going to get there, dude, That's is to right. go out and dance with anybody and everybody you get a chance. So that was our Friday night before Midnight Madness. It was a late night. We didn't get to bed till almost 5 o'clock in the morning. But we still went to KD. Billy and Tommy got paired again. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. But I can tell you that Billy went to the final. The S10's back. Almost. Wait for that one, because it's going to be a good one. That's coming up tomorrow. I think Billy's working on the editing right now. Tommy's probably over there helping him. It's a, We had an incredible weekend. An incredible weekend. I can't wait to share it with you all. Oh, and don't forget, tonight on Discovery Channel, Matt Rice, the Brooklyn Dodger, makes his debut on Getaway Driver. You don't want to miss that. See you all next time. Thanks for watching. That's it. Name a name a planet that's farther. Uranus. You don't even know where Uranus is. <laughs> it's farther than the moon, I know that. You love Uranus, don't you? I'm fact checking you. <laughs>